I also bought some bagel chips and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ooh, those look so good. Let me try some. Why did I eat half the damn bag? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know what you're thinking, Lord, not another kitchen video. I promise this is the last one for a while, but today is actually Thanksgiving and I'm really excited about today's video because I am going to be attempting to make my very first charcuterie board. <laughs> Okay, let me stop being ignorant. Um, I'm gonna be making a charcuterie board and I'm really excited because it has been my lifelong dream to create one of these. Um, I've always wanted to be that like friend who like entertains and stuff like that, but it obviously is, it never happened. Um, and it's still not happening because you know, Miss Corona is alive and well. This charcuterie board is only for four people. I actually don't recommend making a charcuterie board right now for over four people because you know, germs and stuff starting off this is the board that i am using it's just a wooden board that i actually got from walmart i got two of these i have one of them on my coffee table and then the other one i was going to use for like food and stuff like that and why i actually picked up this board in particular is because it has handles and this charcuterie board i'm making my i'm actually carrying it over to my sister's apartment which is like a couple feet away but i need to be able to carry it so this one has handles so let me just say this charcuterie board is not gonna be like one of those fancy ones, okay? Because I'm making it for literally me and my family. Um, and we don't, we don't really care about fancy cheeses, fancy meats and stuff like that, you know? So it's a, gonna be a really basic board. So the first things I got was just some um, like crackers. This is just some black pepper and sea salt crackers. Um, and I have like some Melba crackers. I don't really know. They're just like random crackers that I got from the store that look decent. Now I'm thinking about these sea salt crackers may be kind of nasty. Cause you know how when you have like pepper, it kind of <laughs> makes you cough. Yeah, these might be a little nasty, but oh well. And then I also, I also bought some bagel chips and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ooh, those look so good. Let me try some. Why did I eat half the damn bag? Yeah, I literally ate half the damn bag. So this is literally what I have left. So hopefully we can make this work. <laughs> Um, and then I do have a few nuts. I just have some cashews that I'm gonna be using. I have some pecan has. I actually made a pecan pie today and this was just the leftover. So I was like, hey, I might as well use it in a board if I can. I have some chocolate pretzels. Um, this is obviously not needed, but I've just seen charcuterie boards with like some chocolate on the board and I really like this, so I bought these. Now let me show you what cheese and meats that I bought. The first cheese that I got was just some regular blue cheese. My mom actually um, requested this one, so I bought it. I don't think I've ever had blue cheese in my life, so that's gonna be <laughs> interesting. And then like I said, me and my family, we not, mm, I don't wanna say we not bougie because we kinda are, or at least I know I am, but we don't really care about like having fancy like French cheeses and stuff like that. Like we really just want the basics. So I just got some mild cheddar and a block. And then I just got some Swiss cheese. I actually really like Swiss cheese a lot. Like I'm embarrassed to say, but I like love Swiss cheese. It's like one of my favorite cheeses. And then I just got this assortment of cheeses um, just because they all already come like pre-chopped. And in this thing, I believe it is white cheddar cheese. Um, Kobe Jack cheese. What else type of cheese in here? Mm, Swiss cheese. There's something else. What is it? It's a Munster cheese. So I got that. Um, what else cheese did I get? Oh, and then per request from my sister, I just got some sliced, um, what do you call this cheese? Um, jalapeno jack cheese because she loves spicy cheeses. So I got some sliced cheese and I'm gonna figure out a way to like make it look nice on the board because I couldn't find it like, I couldn't find a block of it and I also couldn't find like um, it cubed. So I just got some sliced cheese and then I got some hummus. I think I'm, as a matter of fact, I literally think I'm the only one in my family that eats hummus, but I'm still gonna put it on the board anyway, <laughs> whatever. Um, and then as far as meats, again, like me and my family, we don't really care. So I just got some regular prosciutto. I don't think, I've ever had prosciutto in my life. Am I saying it right? Pros prosciutto? Prosciutto. I don't know. I've actually never had prosciutto in my life, so this is gonna be interesting. And then I just got some sliced pepperoni. 
or yes, no, sorry, sliced pepper salami, which is the same thing as pepper honey. Um, and then this is something that people usually don't do for charcuterie boards, but I just decided to do it anyway, just to try it. But I actually got some regular, um, like, lunch meat but i'm gonna like see if i can arrange it on the board nicely so i just got some honey maple flavored ham i got some oven roasted turkey breasts and i want to say that's it oh and i also got so i got these um pepperoni mozzarella which you can add as you can see see this is why i have a problem like making stuff in my apartment because i be munching on stuff like as soon as i buy it i'm like oh i gotta try it and literally I bought this for the charcuterie board and I already ate three of them. But these are just pepperoni and mozzarella like rolls that I thought would look really nice on the board. And oh, and then the last thing I got was, oops, sorry, I have a mic on. The last thing I got was just some bread that I'm gonna chop up. I love this type of bread and I think it will taste really good on the board. Um, and then I have some fruit, some grapes, and some strawberries over there. So now that we have like our little charcuterie haul out the way, let's get to building the board.
so here is the finished product and I'm not gonna lie I think it looks really good but I also think there are a lot of things that I can change about it um for example like I don't think I want to have like my crackers and just like those areas but anyways um like I said this is my first time doing it so there was a lot of things that I learned in this process, the first thing is that I underestimated the amount of room that I had to work with. I thought this board was large, so I thought I would have plenty of room to kind of like have fun and play with it. Turns out I was wrong. Um, and I started to realize that like as soon as I put my cheese on the board, I was like, wow, like this actually takes up a lot of space, um, especially if I'm gonna have like pieces like this cheese in the middle, like that takes up a lot of space. So if I'm gonna be doing things like that, then I need a much bigger board. Um, but yeah, I think overall it turned out um, nicely but I think my main issue was just the space that I was working with I thought I had a lot of room but I did not um, but overall I think for my first board I think it looks pretty nice um, next time I'm going to experiment more like with just like the placement of everything I'm not gonna lie when I first started the video I was kind of like talking you through what I was doing but then like halfway through I kind of went into panic mode and was like oh crap like this looks terrible and I'm running out of space so I kind of just got silent and just started working with it. Um, you'll see in the video I'm like moving things around and like rearranging stuff um, but overall I think the board looks good and I'm proud of it for my first one so yeah.